Welcome back aliens, my name is Davin Reddy. Till this point what we have done is we have created simple application where a user can fetch aliens and user can add aliens. Now if you want to see what we have done till now it's very simple let's go back to the browser and we'll say localhost colon 8080 here you will get a form where you will search for let's say 102 when you click on submit you got the alien data it's perfectly working right now this is how you implement spring mvc where data is fetched with the help of spring data jpa and just to show you the code what we have done it's very simple actually we have a controller and we have a controller which is uh, get alien and you are mapping with the slash get alien where a user is passing a aid and based on that you are fetching the value in fact just for the experiment we have done this methods here as well let's remove them we don't need for this next example and in this repo as well let me just empty it i don't want anything else apart from the aid now what i want is if i go back to the browser look at this url now of course when you use a website we have a, when you use a web service we have different kind of uh, clients right so we have human clients where they will interact with the help of browser but sometimes we provide a service to another services example maybe i want to fetch the data about an alien but the the thing which is fetching the data is not a human it's a machine itself so one service is trying to access another service now they will not be communicating with the help of html and css all those stuff they will be using some uh, different format like xml or json and that's where we use web services right and one of the best way to implement web service is rest now if you follow the architecture of rest what it simply says is instead of having this get alien question mark aid is equal to 102 what makes more sense is to say your website name slash alien slash and whatever alien you want let's say 102 now this makes more sense right because it looks like you are accessing a resource so all this data is been there on the website and the moment you say enter you should get the data so the URL which we are expecting here is alien slash 102. Now if you are not familiar with REST API, I would recommend you to watch my REST API series or maybe at least one or two videos just to get the gist of it. So you will find the link in the description area. Now in the REST API what you do is you say your website name slash what you want to fetch a resource which is alien in this case and you will specify the ID. Maybe you don't want to specify the ID when you say alien it simply means you want all the aliens. Or maybe you can also say aliens. Maybe I will say 102. Maybe you want to fetch something else. You want to fetch people or you want to fetch alien who work on Java. So you can say slash Java. Maybe you want to fetch something else. You want to fetch about laptops. So you can simply say laptops. Right? You, it will give you data about laptops. But here I want to implement this. I want to say alien slash 101. Or maybe I want to fetch aliens first. The moment I say enter, I want to see all the aliens. The way you implement that is very simple actually. Instead of using normal request mapping, we will be using REST. So here, here you will say aliens slash aliens. That's it. It will call it. Now there's one change. Now when you say web services, of course we will not be using JSP. So we, of course we don't need a model and view object. What I just need is data, right? When you say data, in which format I will return it? So time being, I don't know which date, which format, by default, every, every format is string, right? Even if you say JSON or XML, they are string format. So we'll say string, uh, the method name will, I will say is get aliens just to make it attractive and it will not be expecting any value. So no parameter and I want to fetch all the aliens. Okay. So how do we return the value here? It's very simple. Actually, you say return repo dot now there's a method called as find all so find all will give you all the aliens and this is a part of your repository right which is your code repository now there's one problem when you say find all it returns a iterable and what you have what you are saying is string right now in this case you need to convert this into string so you will say dot to string so you are converting an iterable to a to string now still we have one problem it will not work now when you implement Spring MVC, by default, when you say string, it is expecting that, I mean, when you say return string, it will expect that you are returning a view name. But no, we are not returning a view name, right? We are returning a data. In that case, you will be saying response body. So we, ha we are informing our dispatch servlet, hey, I'm not returning a view name, I'm returning actual data. So don't try to search for the view name, just print whatever is there in the response. Your Spring Dispatch Server says, okay, I will do that for you. So let's relaunch the application. And if I go back to the browser, 
And here if I say aliens enter, can you see that we got our data? And of course it doesn't look good but we will we will try to do that because this is not even JSON, this is not even XML, this is just a list format in a string. Uh, we'll try to use JSON and XML in upcoming videos but as of now let's stick to this. So important thing here is we are able to fetch all the aliens. So this is like a rest URL. But what if I want to say alien slash 102? I want to fetch one resource. If I say enter, it's not working. In that case, I will create another method just to show you how it works. I will say enter and paste it here. And the URL is, is alien, right? So alien 102, simple. And the method name would be get alien and nothing much. I will say find. So this time I will say repo dot find and this will be find by ID, which is 102 in this case. And that's it. It's so simple. It should work. Oh, it's not working. There's an error. We have to convert that into two strings. So you will say dot two string. Okay, once it is done, let's refresh. Go back to the browser and say enter. Oh, it's working. Can you see that? We got our data. But now if I change it to 103, oh, we got an error. That means we need to create another method for 103. Hey, that doesn't make sense, right? If you have 100 records, you will not be creating 100 methods. So what I will do is I will put that as a wildcard. So I will put that in curly brackets. I would say this is I, this is AID and this is how it works. You know, whenever you want to keep as a wildcard, you say curly brackets AID and you will accept that AID here. So I will say int AID and you will pass the AID. So that means you are making it wildcard. So it doesn't matter if a user says 102 or 103, depending upon the value, it will fetch the data for you. So let's relaunch it. Go back to the browser, say enter. There's one more thing here. We need to use we need to use an annotation here which is called as param variable, which it's path variable actually. So we have to use a path variable and we have to say AID is equal to AID. So whatever data is coming from here will be assigned here. Now let's verify. And if I go back to the browser, say enter, oh it's working. Can you see that? It's working. So when you say 102, it's working. 103 is working. If I say 104, it's working, right? So it is working for all the values. So that's how you send a request. Okay, so get is working. So that means I'm able to fetch all the values. What if I want to submit values? What if I want to create an alien and send it to server? Now, of course, uh, I need to create a form, but that will be HTML. We have to get a form, right? What if I want to send data in JSON format? And in fact, here as well, I want to fetch data in JSON format. We are not doing that. How will I do that? That we'll see in the coming videos. I hope you're enjoying this series. Let me know in the comment section and do click the like button if you're enjoying it. Thanks for watching everyone.